Ooh, 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 ooh. Bang, 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 bang. This is why my intro and outro can't get done because I'm playing. Hey. Welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to get what I call the unique spring locks. So with these locks, these were made from my brand's hair which is the 8 inch spring twist hair and pretty much I'm going to show you how you can make these locks. Now I will say that I did use a lot of hair. I used a total of 7 bags but I actually only used about six of those bags on my hair. I just happened to make seven bags worth of hair just in case I ran out. Now, with this look, you can make it as full or as thin as you want it to go, and I'm going to provide all that detail coming up. Before I jump into the video, I wanna let you all know, please subscribe to the channel, and also thank you for all the support that you've given me so far. And I also wanna say, follow me on Instagram. I do a lot of my makeup tutorials on there. They might be quick, but you'll see those faster on Instagram than you will YouTube because I still have not figured out the way to get these tutorials on here for y'all in a way that is not repetitive or I don't know. I, I'm just trying to figure it out. And then it's, it's just, I don't know. I'm gonna figure it out though. Okay, now let's jump into the video. Okay y'all, so here are the uh, spring locks. So I'm going to give you extreme details on how to actually achieve this look. So for this look, I used six bags of the 1B 8 inch spring twist hair from DorneyBeautySupply.com along with one bag of the Honeycomb 8 inch spring twist hair. For each of the faux locks, you're going to actually need three strands. When you use those three strands, you're going to take two of those strands and you're going to make sure they're as even as possible and then you're going to cut those in half to give you a total of four strands. With those four strands, you're going to set, you're basically going to make one big spring twist. So you're going to rough up the hair and separate them out just like you would for a normal spring twist. With the exception of that fourth strand that you split, when you split that, you're going to take half of that strand and you're going to overlap it, but to the point where it's not even with the rest of them to give you that extra length of curliness and that length that curliness as well is going to secure your wrap so here you'll see me the strands have been evenly placed and then this is the other half of that fourth strand and we're going to overlap it to the point where it's not even now what you're going to do is you're going to take some eco or echo style gel and you're going to apply that. It's the same process as you would except for the unevenness. You don't have to make sure the hair is soaked, but just make sure it's wet enough so it's easy for you to twist the hair. Then you're going to put it on the, on the hanger. If you're new to my channel, this hanger is a Walmart hanger that I broke and taped to the sides of my desk in order to twist hair. So, and excuse the ashiness, y'all. I'm always ashy. I don't know why. I mean, I think somewhere in this video I put on lotion, but it's not. Oh, well. Anyway, <laughs> so <laughs> you're going to twist left over right. And for this look, I did kind of twist a little bit tight, but it wasn't extremely tight. So, basically, you're going to twist until you get all the way to the end. And you ne don't this only part that you really want to keep twisting. You can twist all the way to the end, or you can just twist down to when the strands have become uneven. And that's what your twist is going to look like. Now, the next part of this is you're going to take that third strand, separate that out, rough it up, make sure that it's all even, and then you're going to place it back together. You want, you have to separate this strand. It's very important to separate that strand. So now you're gonna take your crochet hook and you're gonna insert it at the base of the spring twist that you did. Now when you pull this through, you're only gonna pull in one side of the whole strand. And then you're going to make this strand uneven and let one end on the left side of the twist. You're gonna let that hang probably like not even halfway, like a like one 
to two inches down the strand and then the rest of it is going to be long. You're going to take that smaller strand and you're going to wrap it going to the right. And this is no specific way to wrap it. You can you can make sure, make sure the strand is wide to kind of cover up the twist, but you're going to wrap it all the way down to the bottom. Well, not the bottom, y'all. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said the bottom. But you're gonna wrap it until it's done wrapping, pretty much. And with that other strand, did you see me move it out the way just so that way I can wrap this without any interference? So now what you're going to do, once you get that wrapped and in place, you're going to take that longer strand and you're going to start at the base and you're going to wrap to the left. Now I did not pull this tight, but I did pull it to the point where it was covering up the lock. You don't want to pull it extremely tight and then it makes your lock smaller. And I'm not twisting that spring twist under there. I'm not twisting. It looks like I'm twisting, but I'm not. I'm just really wrapping the strand around it. And you're going to keep wrapping until you get down close to the end, probably about an inch up before the end or right before you run out of hair. And this is gonna be how you basically secure your wrapping. When you get towards the end, and I'm going to show you more than once, and I'm going to show you with the black hair too as well. When you get towards the end, what you're going to do is, you're going to take that strand that you're wrapping with, you're going to separate that into two. And then you're going to take the end of that spring twist that you already have, and you're going to include that in and you're going to braid that at least about three, well, at minimum, at least three braids down. I got my camera to focus now, separating that into two. And I'm so sorry for the angle, y'all. Then you're going to braid. And like I said, you're gonna braid at least three down. And then once you get all the way down, once you've braided it, you're going to make that, make it into two strands. And then twist it again. Just so the way you can have that curl part at the end. Now when you're twisting, it might seem like that end is coming up, but it's not coming apart. Just keep twisting until it's twisted to the very end of the strand. Then you're going to go ahead and just snip your little ends, you know what I'm saying? Just to make sure that they're clean. And that's how you do that. And that's pretty much how that lock looks. I'm gonna show y'all one more time real quick. So just in case you missed it. Now this is the black strands of her. Again, you take three strands for each, each lock. Then you're gonna cut, make sure they're as even as possible. Then you're going to cut that in half. Then you're going to separate your strands on. Now separate them strands, girl. Go ahead and separate them. And you see my hand kind of flip. You can, cause you'll see the ends of the hair. When you cut your hair yourself, you'll see that the ends kind of look a little bit different on each end, like versus the cut and versus where it's naturally ends. And you can flip those and they can go either side. Doesn't really matter. So then you see how I combine that last strand that's hanging extra for your extra curly ends. Take your gel. It ain't, it's not that hard, y'all. I promise it's not hard. Once your strand's wet, go ahead, throw it on that little, you know, your little rack. And then you're gonna twist it left over right. There you go, there your spring twist. Then you're gonna take your, your last strand, that third strand, and then you're gonna pull it apart. And then you're gonna slide it right on through the base of there. Slide through the base, you see how it's hanging. See, I'm finna throw, I'm finna go ahead and throw that strand out the way so it's not in my way. So 
throw it out the way and then you're gonna go ahead and go go over it towards the right twisting it her wrapping it her around it once you wrap it then you're gonna wrap the uh, other side the longer side of it wrap it to the left And also, if I did not say it before, when you're wrapping it to the left, you wanna make sure that if you have strands that are poking out, little curls that are poking out, let them poke out it's because you want those. You want those to poke out because it gives it that a more natural look and something that's not uniform. So as you can see, like you see the little curls that's hanging out, the strands that's hanging out, you want those strands to hang out. The lock should not be perfect. And again, once you get to the end and you make it see it better, you see that curly strand, let that go ahead and hang. So take the ends, I'm gonna focus my camera for y'all. Separate them. Then you're gonna start to braid. Braid at least three times or to when you feel it's comfortable. But once you get to a comfortable spot, you need to make those back into two strands and you can just combine two of the strands and just start twisting. And I want y'all to pay attention to right here when I start twisting, once it pulls back into focus, you see how that strand like is going up? Just keep twisting. Don't worry about that. Just keep twisting till you get to the very end. It's gonna curl up, it's gonna stay, it's gonna be secure. and you clean up your ends with your shears or scissors, go ahead and clean up those ends and just cut it off. Yes, I'm stopping the video. Hey girl, what's up? If you made it this far, I just wanna know one thing. Did you subscribe yet? Cause if you ain't subscribed, I don't know what you waiting on. If you got this far in the video, that mean that you like what you see so far. And all my cousins will tell you, you know, I deliver with my content. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you ain't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe so that way you can be cuz to become a part of the family. You see something you like, I know you do. Cousins. Uh, why y'all here? I need to ask y'all a real quick question. I need y'all to comment below. Let me know. Would y'all want to see vlogs like of my everyday life? I don't know. Comment below. If I get enough comments, then I'm gonna start vlogging. At least do weekend vlogs so that way y'all can see what I do and how I do stuff or whatever may be the case. But if not, thanks so much for watching and hit the subscribe button because you made it this far. All right, back to the video. All right, y'all. Now let's get into the braid portion of it. I have eight braids in the front and five braids in the back in the zigzag pattern. And you know, a lot of people say the zig. I've seen people say, not a lot of people, but I've seen people say that you know the zigzag braid pattern is kind of hard for them. But y'all, for real, honestly, it's really not as hard as y'all think it is. It's really just just part because the the pole point of the zigzag part is to make it more look look more individual. So it don't have to be a line. Like your zigzags don't have to be the same on the same on each side. Okay, so now let's get into the details of how I install. Now everybody knows, if you're new to my channel, you may not know, I start in the front of my head because I want this to be as full as possible and I like to get the front done first. Now, I won't lie to y'all, I like to be very honest, it was hard getting this stuff done at first because again, this is something that I just came up with. And y'all see how it, I'm struggling, y'all, I'm really struggling, I'm like, it gotta be an easier way. So I tried to go through the braid like I normally do and actually put my spring lock in. But as y'all can see, I was really struggling with that. So, I mean, I was like, wait a minute, hold on. This is not what we finna do and this is not finna to pull out my edges trying to do this. So I was really trying to figure out the easier way to do this. And then even when I tried the second one, 
Uh, the hole was so small to the point where it unraveled the lock. So I had to rewrap that lock and re-secure it because I pulled it too tight within that little bitty hole. So basically, to alleviate that problem, just in case one of y'all asks me, what you have to do is you have to go to the base of the lock where it was basically on your uh, hanger and you have to open it up wide. You have to open it up to the point where you can fit at least two fingers in. And with this look, you don't go through the braid, you go under the braid because the lock is so thick, it won't really matter. So you go under the braid and with that hole being much bigger, you're able to stick your fingers in and pull the lock through without disturbing the lock. So listen, cause you want to make sure, <laughs> make sure that when you're putting your locks in that you stick at least two fingers into the base of it. So that way you can make sure that it goes through without disturbing the lock. Hook it, slide that thing right on through. Now that it's big enough for you to go through there, you can just grab that lock and pull it through with your fingers and then voila, magic. One more time, just in case y'all didn't catch it. You're going to pull, put the lock up, open that hole wide enough to fit at least two fingers into it. Go under your braid, pull it through, and knot it one time. We don't have to do two and three knots, we only knot one time. Okay, y'all, now once the front is finished, you're gonna go ahead and head over to the back. I have five braids in the back and my parts were not straight. They they, they weren't exactly zigzag either, but <laughs> but that's what, that's what you get. This is about the best I could do as far as the back view goes. So it's the same thing in the back. You're going to go under the braid, not one time. And that's how full the back is. Okay, now once the back is full, y'all already know, it's time to slick down those edges. Now, with my edges, like I say all the time, you want to comb and then you brush it to basically lay it on down. And once the edges are done, that's pretty much it, y'all. This is the final look of it. And yeah, so you can find this here at DoranyBeautySupply.com. Yes, I did use seven bags, but in all honesty, I didn't use all seven bags. I think I used all six. I used six, six of the bags. I had like 60, no, not 60. I had like 58 locks all together installed and not the full 70 that I made because each bag comes with anywhere from 25 to 30 strands, but most of the time it's 30 strands. So you get 10 locks out of each bag of the spring twist hair that you get. 
okay y'all thanks so much for watching um i've provided all the information i'm not gonna say i hope i know i provided all the information and if i didn't just ask me a question and i answer it below but before you ask me that question watch the video without skipping watch the video without stopping watch the video and see if i answer a question before you ask me because i probably already answered it but then again if i didn't ask me and i'll answer it okay so thanks so much for watching make sure that you subscribe to the channel and also this hair can be purchased at www.doranybeautysupply.com and yeah thanks so much for watching y'all i really do appreciate it and i hope no i already said i know i provide all information it's like my fourth or fifth time recording this outro and you know the life of a social media influencer youtuber beauty influencer whatever you want to call it but thanks so much for watching and until next time